for everyone what is up hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today we're gonna to be talking about what is happening with xrp in the xrp community now in coin market cap xrp is at 25 cents we are in the green today as well as bitcoin 12.7 k what is happening guys it looks like a lot of coins are in the green today as well there should be a poll right now on if you guys are bearish or bullish right now but if there isn't, go down in the comments below and, and how do you guys feel towards the market right now. But if you guys didn't know, I do have a second channel. I'll leave the first link down in the description below so you guys could go check it out and subscribe if you guys aren't already. But now guys, before we jump into this, like Sam and I financial Pfizer nurse financial advice, just to some value only. PayPal is out. Today we are announcing the launch of a new service that will enable customers to buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrency directly from their PayPal accounts. Let's check this out. There will be no sound. Interesting how a lot of these news are being announced in October. Next it comes from the cryptic poet. Ripple will be the global bridge for CBDCs. Explains how. The second half of the problem is all around liquidity. And the kind of elephant in the room is today, the world locks up around, I think it's around 10 or 10 to 15, whatever, trillion dollars at any one time in balances and nostrils in different parts of the world to fund payments, which are you know, sent in great big, you know, chunks at end of day or end of week. The opportunity here with CBDCs running domestically and with a bridge asset, another cryptocurrency model, a bridge asset to connect those CBTCs together, the opportunity is to deliver liquidity on point in the moment, in microseconds from one part of the world to another. And the model that you know, we focus on is using XRP, uh, which is a very high velocity and um, very high volume digital asset, it's a free floating asset, unlike a you know, CBDC or stablecoin, use it as a bridge currency between these CBDCs. So you imagine a, a world in the future where there are, let's say, 180 um, individual CBDCs per jurisdiction uh, in the world. Making markets between those CBDCs is quite challenging, um, unless you have a common single point, uh, the bridge currency, which then enables connections to be uh, made more efficiently and markets to be made um, between these individual currencies. So you put that together with both a bridge currency between those CBDCs and the overriding ledger connection between the blockchains that run those CBDCs. And you are kind of redefining how value is moved cross border. It's a, it's a complete departure from the messaging model that we've automated but haven't changed. And it moves into an immediate liquidity, a non-trap cash, a wallet to wallet, a micro payment model. That's also really important for extending reach, European Union being a very strong developed economic block, it is a great, it's in a great position to then help leverage and grow inclusion around the wider region across Eurasia, um, Sub-Saharan Africa, Middle East, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and by leveraging what you're doing in the European Union and uh, with the directive that, you, that you've currently um, um, uh, kind of propagated, leveraging that to benefit those who need very high volume, very immediate, low value micropayments with very limited liquidity tie up. It's a massive opportunity. It's a massive opportunity. Peter Pumpkin has tweeted out, regulations are key. We kind of take that for granted. That's the way Airbnb got started and Uber. They weren't in, at that time, regulated industries. But generally yeah. things in financial services, you got to be regulated. So when I came to Ripple, that was a new blockchain. That was the second thing after Bitcoin. The first month we went to Treasury to explain what we were doing. So yeah. we didn't operate under the illusion that we would never be re regulated and we would never have to ask permission. So it's finding that balance between doing something that's really innovative, but if you want to go mainstream and you're successful, you're going to run up against rules and regulations, guys with guns and badges. Yeah. So, so I walk that Equally line. as powerful, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I'd like to see these new innovations make it into the mainstream. I'd like everyone 
in the world to be able to participate in this. So that doesn't mean that you can do it in a Mad Max way. But I hope you don't have to do it in a George Orwell way either. And now I'm more aware of maybe not in a Facebook way. So that's been the big passion is finding a way that we can take these new innovations and make them for the people. And it's not because I'm like like a hippie. You can probably tell I'm not a hippie. No, don't stri doesn't strike me. Ripple, the fad, historian, not a hippie. But like my aspiration is like the way the world worked in like Star Trek. Like that's in the future. Okay. And like people, they know when the doors open. So there must be some way that like it knows the door is supposed to open for you. For you, not for me. not for me, right? Mm -hmm. And so they left out that episode of how to do that. So I believe the responsibility is to figure out how to get the identity solution figured out so you can do all these things without huge amounts of fraud or fake news or all the other downsides of having a system that's bottom up that might be an attack vector for bad guys. Now guys, just to the fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now this is quite interesting. Fifth yes, you know, 1023. If we go down here in the replies, we can see launched by Central Bank of Iceland on 23rd October. Payment system. And then 123. Gecko out XRP less than 48 hours till launch. What do you guys think? Will this be true? Will it be true? Next, it comes from the Bearable Bowl. Same city. Interesting. We can see right here, city to hand out 10 million digital yuan in currency giveaway. China is promoting a central bank digital currency with a public 1.5 million giveaway. Isn't that interesting? They're doing giveaways now. Promote this right here. NCJ Rothschild has tweeted out, that's why that was put on earth. They tell you straight to your face from World Economic Forum. That is pushing companies to scale remote work. That is to accelerate digitization. That is to accelerate automation. Look at this, guys, but this is huge. Fix it, sweet out. In the UK, this is from Jazz right here in a local shop. You can see Bitcoin sold here. More growth, more adoption in the whole cryptosphere next it comes from before coins there will be no official announcement announcing that xrp will be used as a bridge in currency in transactions if someone waits for that he's too late either you are in or out be prepared for a stable four digit value four digits guys and it should be stable if that was the case mac attack has tweeted out xrp had 57,000 percent gains in 2016 2017 without banks or odl now in 2020 38 percent of the world's top 100 banks are linked to ripple you know what's coming you guys do know what's coming this is child's play again from mac attack the real utility is what problem they really solve better faster cheaper Ripple XRP. Luminous Design is sweet out. We were warned 2012, 589, 2012 plus 5, 2017, 2012 plus 8, 2020, then finally 2012 plus 9, 2021. Same Tony, but reverse 12 to 21. This connects to his next tweet again from Luminous Design. If you understand things very well, you will know. Bitcoin is an inflationary tool. The Phoenix show rise before a crash happens. So all hidden money shall flow in it. And that's when the wealth transfer happens. If 2021 the start of burning cash, 1988 plus 33, watch the Phoenix. If we go down here, Phoenix can only rise from ashes. Crash has to occur first. It will rise before the crash and will rise more after the crash. They need to... They need to have the fix up and ready first. So rise before the crash and after. Be prepared, guys. Fojack has tweeted out Mr. Pool. We can see the connections being made again. The final tip for today's video comes from Baba Cux. Signed and sealed on October 20th, 2020. Commodities, you say?
again, a lot of stuff seems to be happening, guys. But who really knows what will happen at the end of the day. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe if you guys already. Feel free to be a member of the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And you guys, see ya.